Hey, how's it going? My name is Max. I'm trying to get more into Node.js development. And as I learn more about Node.js and the development process, I'm going to make videos about it. And this is the first video in a series I'm going to call Node.js Quick Tips. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can easily refer to private node modules on your hard drive without publishing them to GitHub or NPM. I'm currently in my personal folder for all my projects. And I'm going to create a folder for a new module that I'm going to call Personal Calculator. Now I'm going to cd into that new directory and open it up in Sublime Text. What we need is a package.json file. And in here we need to specify a name for our module. This is really important. Now I'll just create my index file and export a simple object with a function called sum that's going to take two parameters, number one and number two, and it's going to return the sum of those two numbers. Now I'm still in my personal calculator directory and I'm going to run a command called npm link. Now let's create a new project. I'm going to go back to my personal projects directory and I'm going to make a new directory called my new project, cd into that, and open it up in Sublime Text. Now all we need here really for the demonstration is a main.js file. If we want to use the personal calculator we created earlier, we have to run npm link personal calculator. It's kind of important to note that personal-calculator does not refer to the folder name of the module, but to the name we specified in the package.json file. Now we can refer to the personal calculator module just by requiring it, just like any other node module. To demonstrate that it works, I'm just going to console log the sum of the two numbers, one and two. And if I run node main, we get three. Now what's interesting about this is that we can easily update any linked module. So we'll just add another method to our personal calculator and it's just going to multiply two numbers. Now if we head back to our new project, we'll just multiply numbers two and four. And if we run node main again, everything works and we didn't even have to run npm update or anything like that. So this is really awesome for splitting up a big project into several small reusable node modules. I'm going to make more videos soon, so stay tuned for that. You can subscribe to this channel or follow me on Twitter and I'll notify you whenever I put out something new. Um, if you have any feedback, I'm always really grateful because I'm learning myself and I'm learning to make better videos, hopefully. So you can send me a tweet or leave a comment below this video. Anyways, thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you soon. Bye bye.